Hey guys, I got a battle here for you against a guy named Percy. That's what it goes by on the chat. Um, he's usually a very baton path centric team and has three bug Pokemon. So that should be made for an interesting game. Let's see what goes on. I know that stealth rocks are going to be super important because of all these bug Pokemon. So I'm going to lead off with my Aerodactyl who has them and go for them on the first turn. But he predicts that pretty easily, goes into his Espeon to bounce them back at me. Um, which is fine because I should be able to outspeed this Espeon unless it's Scarf and it isn't. And I am Adamant Aerodactyl with a Life Orb. So that'll take it out pretty easily, I think. And yeah, now he's going to go into the Scrafty, which is a problem. But like I said, Stealth Rocks are the top priority here, so I'm going to set those up regardless of what he wants to do right now. And what he wants to do is go for a Dragon Lance, try to set up for a sweep, which is obviously what this whole team is based on, as you'll see soon. So I don't want him to do that, I'm going to go into my Arbok, get the Intimidate off, take away his plus one. He goes for a second Dragon Lance, I'll put him at plus one attack, plus two speed, and I'm going to go for the Glare right here to, you know, neuter him. He goes for the plus one Crunch, it does um, just below half, this is the fully maxed max defense Arbok. And luckily the glare hits, and yeah, so he's not really much of a problem anymore. I want to save my Arbot for later, so I go into my Embor to take the predicted crunch, but he actually predicts that, it seems, and goes for a Drain Punch, which will hurt really badly at plus one. And my superpower is going to, well, it should take it down, but he's actually carrying the Focus Sash, which you don't see often on such a bulky Pokemon, but it worked for him in this case because now he's going to get to take down my Embor, which is a really big hit because Embor can take bug Pokemon for days and yeah like I said his team have a bug Pokemon and actually two dark Pokemon so Embor could have been really helpful but it goes down to that Focus Sash pretty much and that good prediction on his part so now I'm going to go for the Charge Beam thinking that I can finish it off and get a plus one but the damn thing lives and that, that pissed me off so much and he was just laughing at, laughing his ass off at me. But um, yeah, now I'm going to go for the Ice Beam because I don't want Charge Beam to miss. And I'm tired of seeing this Blasted Scrafty look at me in the face with his super swag baller face. So yeah, I'm, I'm at low health now and I'm not looking good. Um, I'm predicting him to go for the Sleep Powder instead of trying to finish me off. So I stay in so that Cresselia can be Sleep Fodder. And now I'm predicting him to set up with his... Butterfly Dance, which is what Venomoths usually do. So I'm going to get out of there and going to go back into my Arbok, who has ways of dealing with Pokemon who set up, as you're about to see. Um, get the Intimidate off, but that doesn't really matter, it's a special type. So he goes for the setup like I thought he would, and now he's going to get greedy and go for another one, which is a big deal because I think if he attacked, he could have taken me out with Tinted Lens. Even with a bug buzz, and if he had Psychic, obviously that's nothing. But I can get the Dragon Tail off now. Get him out of there. And he'll take a huge amount of damage with the Stealth Rocks when he comes back in. So now he goes off into the Volby, and I have no idea what to expect from it. Except probably Tail Glow. But um, he goes for the par Paralysis, the Thunder Wave. Um, that's fine, I guess. It could be it could be a problem later on, but it's fine for now because I get to drag and tail him out, and yeah, he's gonna take a major damage coming back in again. So no, I don't want to die to this Hydreigon, so I'm gonna switch out and go into my Superior, who's a special defensive Superior, but he double switches too and goes back into his Volby. Um, at this point, I didn't know that Volby has Prancer, although I kind of suspected it, but I didn't know. So I decided to go for a sub predicting his Thunder Wave, but yeah that obviously doesn't work because he gets priority on the Thunder Wave. Luckily I do get the sub off though, but it, it turns out that it doesn't matter because he has the Encore. Locking me into Substitute, I know he has 3 turns if I stayed in to do whatever the hell he wants and I'm not going to let him have that, I'm going to switch out into my Arbok because yeah if he sets up the Tail Blow as he is going to do. That means that he only has one move slot left and I'm guessing it's going to be a bug type attack which I think that I can take with Arbok and Dragon Tail it out. But it turns out that his last move is the Baton Pass instead. So that thing actually has no attacking moves. And he's going to Baton Pass the plus 3 special attack into a Yan Mega and I went for my Dragon Tail and it got the freaking Parahax. So this Yan Mega is in my face with plus 3. It would have been dead if I got off the Dragon Tail. 
It's that plus three, but I do not see the speed boost, which is really important. Cause that means unless that unless it's scar, I can outspeed it with my aerodactyl, which I do. I go for the fire fan because that's better accuracy than the stone edge and take that thing out. But um if it did have the speed boost, then it wouldn't have the tinted lens and I could resist either of its stabs with my aerodactyl. So I should have been able to get through that either way. Anyway, he comes in with the Volby and he's down to like no health and he has no attacking moves. So this is the Volby's last time um, on the battlefield pretty much. And I go for the Dragon Tail, obviously. Because that's the move to make. He goes for the setup, I Dragon Tail him out, he's gone. <laughs> he didn't die, but if he comes back in, um, the Stealth Rots are going to take him out. So now he's into this Venom off again. Um, I know I can take any attack he gives. He can't put me to sleep. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Tail. And I get it off. And that's the end of, <laughs> of the Venom off too, because of Stealth Rots. This is why Stealth Rots are so broken, like, I don't know why they made Stealth Rots. It's a really broken move. It shouldn't be in the game. But anyway, uh, I used it anyway, because this is like a UU team and I'm using it in standard to play. Ah, uh, frig UU. I don't, I don't play my tears. I'm using whatever the hell I feel like and I'm gonna play standard. Anyway, he goes to the flamethrower, I get down to just past health, I get the power hats. Uh, sorry, I'm mumbling. But anyway, he goes to the flamethrower again. I missed the leech seed. So yeah, I'm being hatched over, but it doesn't really matter because Serpier wasn't going to do that much to this Sazendora. And note that he's not taking life orb damage, so I'm guessing that he's choice, because most of them are. And if he's choice, I can take the flamethrower with my um, Aerodactyl here. But I outspeed him, so it doesn't mean he's not scarfed. And um, unfortunately, he survives the, the um, Stone Edge. But he shows me that he has Surf, so not only is he not Scarf, he's not Choice either. He is probably probably Expert Belt. That would be a good item to put on something like this. But anyway, I send in Daikenki who can take it out with an Aqua Jet. And like I said, the other two, Volbeat and Venomoth, are going to be taken up with the Stealth Rocks when they come in. So that's a good game, um, guys. You have a pretty... You know, those bugs are good at baton passing. But Stealth Rocks really hurt, and it also really helps if your opponent has two Dragon Tailors in its team. So yeah, um, leave a comment, leave a like or a dislike depending on how you feel about this. And I'll see you guys later. The next vid I upload should be a pretty long one, but I'll do what I can to make it short and watchable. Um, so take care, see ya.